Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Fanatic Beats, content contributor for LiveOffBeats.com. If you'd like to follow me, you can follow me on Instagram at Sounds for Producers, as well as Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats if you like. Uh, today's video is a quick little tip in Nexus 2. Um, if you watched my previous video, I showed you how to uh, basically get into the layers. Uh, I do actually want to do that real quick just to show you the step, but today's video is actually showing you how to save your own presets in Nexus 2. It's a little, um, like a little tip that a lot of producers don't know about, and it's a quick way of like having your own little arsenal of your own presets that you kind of designed in Nexus 2, especially if you made a bunch of changes, you know, like to the filters, you know, reverb delay effects, or even arpeggiation, or gating, or whatever you did. Um, you can always just save it. So let me just show you how to do that, actually, in Nexus 2. Um, I didn't know for a while, but, you know, eventually things come to you. So anyway, uh, let's just make an example here. Let's pick a piano. Uh, let's pick that piano ballad grand. Get my playing I'm just typing on this keyboard typing keyboard anyway uh, what you want to do um, to actually um, kind of make your own sound you want to oh, pardon me uh, let's see here Make sure you can hear me cool you can um, go to layers. Well, actually, first, well, you can save the sound as it is and then make changes, but I kind of like making changes first. So, in my previous video, you can easily just go to mix, and there's always layers. You go to the layers uh, little button here and change it to one of the layers. Maybe you want that muffled sound piano like that. So what you can do is just go back to library. You got that sound. And you can create your own folder. Notice I have one right here. So we'll just create a folder. You right click. Go to new. And we'll just call it um, live off beats. Alright. Hit enter. Now you have a whole um, new folder. And it's always alphabetized. Unless you change it. Um, so you got your live off beats folder. But you also want to save this new sound that you made, right? So you right click, save preset. And then it's a new preset. You right click on the name down here. And it's a new preset in that folder. So you switch folders, you know, whatever, whatever. And you go back and you have that exact sound. So let's say you don't want that same preset name. What you can do is right click on the preset and rename. Uh, we'll call it soft piano. Cool. It's that simple. And every time you load it, you know, you'll have your new folder here to live off beats or whatever you name it. Um, and also the, you know, the sound that you made. So it's already loaded. So uh, let's say I just want to make some changes, delay. Let's go back into layers because it's like super quiet. So go back to mix. Boom. And it's actually now that I double click that sound, I was about to save over a preset. There we go. So, your soft piano, you want to save preset, and you can overwrite what you did, overwrite it, and now the changes that we did to the layers is actually um, saved, and of course all the other random stuff that I did here, you know, uh, so if you go back to system, excuse me, mix, uh, notice that layer is uh, saved when I saved it. And at whatever level that you know you saved it. 
All I, all I did is basically overwrite what I saved previously. So anytime you want to save your changes, and you can save multiple versions, you know, you can save, let's say, I like this. My bad for not playing really good chords on a Titan keyboard. I should have plugged in uh, Kai Fire. But uh, anyway, let's say I make some more changes or whatever. It's not even on. There we go. And you can always just um, right click, save preset. But make sure you change the name so when you save it, that way you can have multiple versions. Cool. Actually, let's see if we can do it like that. No. Oh, it's because it's selected. So anyway, you get the idea. That's how you save presets, and you can create folders here. But be careful not to uh, delete some of your, your standard um, category folders because you would have to install it over again. And, you know, you don't want to change what, you know, you either bought some expansions or whatever. You don't want to, like, overwrite what has been created that way you know you have your original sounds in there too so yeah just want to give you a quick tip in nexus 2 how to create folders and also how to um you know create save your own presets so anyway again it's dj fanatic beats if you'd like to follow me on instagram you can follow me at sounds for producers or dj fanatic beats on instagram all right have fun creating your own sounds you know there's tons of different um you know, you go to this mix and kind of just explore a little bit some of the other things. And in my last video, I showed different layers on different sounds and what they can do. So anyway, signing out. Peace.